Hey everyone, welcome to the game week six review video where we will go over the events of what happened the first week after the shuffle card was played. If you're liking these videos, please don't forget to like and subscribe if you have not already. Um, that would really help out the channel and continue the growth and all the dialogue that's been happening, which has been so much fun. Um, without further ado, we'll jump into it. And first week without or uh, after using the shuffle card was okay. Not the uh, best week in the world, but above the average. And I probably moved up about a thousand points or a thousand spots in the overall rank, which still doesn't put me in a great position, um, but definitely trending in the right direction. I believe the average was 43 and I got 53. So I'll take that for the week and try to build on it next week. Um, out of the two keepers, didn't matter which one I picked. They both scored the same with two points. Um, it was Lecce that like Lecce and Monza they faced each other. They both scored against each other. It was kind of a crappy situation. At least they both only scored one against each other. So I still get the two points: the one for starting and one for playing sixty minutes. Um, Theo Hernandez uh, and AC Milan got scored against against Sampdoria. So he only has the two points. Once again, blanking with the attack and returns as well. Uh, Ishmaili ended up getting subbed in, I believe, because Locatelli was injured. Unfortunately, I didn't know that before the shuffle was used. Um, he is cheap, though, and he, I think, is set to return back in the late September. So I'm thinking another week or two. So maybe he might miss one or two more games. Um, so I do think I'm going to hold him for now. But he ended up, Ishmaili ends up subbing in for him, and he both got cautioned and two goals against in facing Roma, so that's unfortunate to get a zero there. Um, Dumfries gets the clean sheet, uh, so that's all that happened there. And Bremer had quite an eventful game, to be truly honest. Um, not only played, caused a penalty, got a yellow card for it that very much could have been red, I think. Um, it was a handball right in front of the net. I guess the ball wasn't moving super fast, so... Maybe you uh, say, okay, yeah, Perrine could have easily got there. Um, but I'd say I wouldn't have complained too much if he got the red. But then he went and scored a goal of his own in the other end, which was really great. So at first I thought I picked the one UVA defender that got sent off. And instead I picked the one that ended up scoring the goal. So a uh, little bit of uh, good news there. We had Coop Miners, who's uh, got an assist and some bonus to pick up eight points. De La Feu, uh, only got two. Despite Udinese scoring three goals, unfortunately, De La Feu had no attack in return, so that was disappointing, as he normally has been uh, involved in many of the goals that Udinese have scored so far. Cravachelia, they just get the uh, Napoli clean sheet. No attack in returns there for Cravachelia. Uh, and then the new attackers did very well. Arnautovic scoring again, Andy Mobile scoring as well. But Vlahovic scoring an offside goal that got called back, unfortunately. And my goodness, the end of that game was a mess. And I I mean, I yes, you can say I have a Juve bias, but they got robbed of two other points that they should have had, in my opinion. Uh, Bonucci, even though he does go for the ball, even if he was in an offside position, I don't think would have impacted the result of that play in any way. And it should have stayed as well as if you see a uh, larger angle. It does look like Kindreva is keeping him on side. And I believe Sedia came out and just basically had a bit of a cop-out answer saying, uh, oh, we didn't have the angle with um, Kindreva in it. But I mean, I don't even know how much I trust that. Like, but you see the Premier League, uh, they have VAR that spans across the whole field. Same with MLS. Why would Sedia not have that same kind of angle where you see the uh, line go across the whole field? So, I don't know. I'm not buying that. I think it was a little ridiculous. And it really, it honestly would have saved so much trouble. Not only would the correct call have been made, um, but then you're saving three red cards that came from that as well. One to Allegri one to Quadrado, and uh, one to Fazio of Salernitana. So, I don't know, just an absolute mess of the end of the, of the end of a game. But at the end of the day, Juve shouldn't be down to no to Salernitana anyway. So, um, that's their own fault partially as well. Anyway, sorry to dive away from the fantasy aspect and just get on Juve, but I thought that that was an exciting enough ending and worthy of being talked about. But that's how I scored. It gave me 53 points on the week which isn't too bad. We'll take a look at how the league's doing. 
So I did move up a bit back up to 25th, which isn't that great. Roma 23, uh, still up top, Team Napolitano, uh, second, very close behind. We'll see who had some of the best game weeks. Dumfries of Lorenzo. Uh, haven't really noticed that name up high yet, but clearly had in a good week uh, with Mario Rui. Dybala, oh, that was another thing. Just getting rid of Dybala and Abraham this week. And finally, I got rid of him. Dybala contributes, assists and scores. And uh, Abraham scores. So that was really tough to see. Um, and then has a good captaincy there. Great striking, decent midfield, decent defense. So that makes sense why it had such a good score. And it could have been even better if uh, he had Dumfries playing. Um, so well played to you on the week. Um, and then let's see who the guy who got 77, just so we can see two. Uh, and it might be a similar team. We got Perrine in goal, which makes sense. Great defense, clean sheets right across the board. Uh, I, sorry, not clean sheets. Bremer has the goal, though. Unfortunate negative one there in Pellegrini, but Captain Dabala. Tammy Abraham Arnatovic, unfortunate Blavich, but a great captaincy there working out uh, for him here where the majority of his points are coming from and not much on the bench. But uh, those are two great scores, great decision-making being there and possibly for more points without Pellegrini, who did miss a penalty. Um, worth noting that Vlahovic didn't take the penalty that Juve got in the game. Um, it was Benucci, so someone to keep an eye on, a defender taking a penalty. We know he's taken them in the past, um, but sometimes it's hit and miss whether he's taken them. So keep an eye on that consistency for Benucci taking penalties, as well as which Roma player might be on penalties with Pellegrini missing. I would be surprised if he doesn't get switched up. Okay, that's where we're going to leave it for this video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you in the game week seven uh, team selection later this week. Take care.